What is going on guys? Welcome back to Southwest Fishing. So today we're doing a bait tutorial video. Not really a tutorial. I'm not really going to be showing anything like that. But I'm going to be talking about five baits that you guys can use in any sort of body of water and they're all going to catch you fish. I've been getting a lot of messages on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that and you guys are asking me what kind of baits I'm using to catch fish. And trust me, I go fishing and I get skunked too. I, I know that when I post videos it looks like I'm catching fish all the time and stuff because I'm posting two or three videos a week. But trust me, there are are days I go out to try to make a video and I get skunked and I'm just unable to actually make a video so you're not the only one I'm not that great of a fisherman but when I am going out these are the baits that I am getting bit on so number one we're gonna start off top water you can never go wrong with top water especially this time of year first light wherever you're fishing it doesn't matter if it's a lake river pond canal does not matter you can go out there first light all the way till probably about 7 8 a.m and you can fish in all the shade pockets because all the bass are pushing any sort of bait up against the bank or if you're in a canal they're pushing them right up against the wall and they're just crushing them so if you cast parallel with the bank or you cast right up on the bank and you just retrieve a basic buzz bait i mean super simple steady retrieval you don't need anything too dramatic Booyah has a really good spinner bait, and I know Booyah has a good spinner bait because TDM Fishing, when I've gone fishing with him the last few times, that is the only buzz bait that he uses. It's got a, another little like uh, metal piece that's angled down. It's kind of shaped like a triangle, and every time that this main blade spins, it clacks up against that metal, and it just creates a louder, more obnoxious noise, and I think that draws the fish up because he catches way more topwater fish than I do, and I'm just using this basic buzz bait. He uses that Booyah Buzz Bait and he slays them. He catches a lot more fish than me. And I do recommend buying maybe a Booyah Buzz Bait, giving that a shot. But also, don't shy away from poppers, don't shy away from frogs, or any sort of topwater, spook, whatever. They all work first thing in the morning. It's just you gotta match a hatch and you gotta, you gotta figure out the body of water you're fishing in order to be able to catch these fish. If you're fishing more of a grassy area, a frog and a Buzz Bait is gonna work really good. A popper will work really well as well. But um, if you're fishing rocky areas, I do a lot better with poppers and buzz baits. That's just personally my opinion. You can even go buy really small spooks and those will work really well too. But uh, I mean, super simple bait. You fish it just about anywhere, any sort of body of water. And if you're out at the lake, use this up along any sort of point, use it up along any sort of ledge, anywhere where the fish could be pushing that shad up and just absolutely demolishing them. And if you see any bait schools come up later on in the afternoon, which they typically do, you can cast a sucker out, run it over them, and typically you'll get a blow up. Uh, Remember, you guys can pair it up with any sort of uh, trailer. You can use a even a finesse worm. You can use a spook. You can use a little tiny swim bait. It does not matter. Also, try to get a trailer hook. I don't get trailer hooks, but trailer hooks do allow you to hook more fish and have a better chance at getting these fish in. So just remember, the trailer hook is actually very, very important when you're using a buzz bait because a lot of times they miss it, but the blow-ups are still awesome regardless. It does not matter. So remember, remember the buzz bait. Man, it is hot out, guys. It's like, 100 degrees and it's like nine o'clock at night all right moving on to the next bait so this is the jackhammer stealth and this is just a basic why can i think right now a chatterbait this is just a basic chatterbait awesome awesome freaking bait i don't like the big giant props or anything like that sometimes they work really well and sometimes they don't but the one thing that i do like about the stealth is number one it's kind of like a clear blade super simple and it kicks up right away i mean the second you start retrieving it you feel the sucker working and it's got a really subtle vibration noise which is drawing these fish up because it sounds like one of those shad when they're running through the water column they kind of create like a flickering noise and that's what attracts a bass because they can feel that on their lateral line those lateral lines that you see on the largemouth bass they use that to be able to gauge and turn and attack any sort of bait fish whether it's a bluegill shad whatever they're chasing and that is why the chatterbait works so well so make sure that you guys always have a couple chatterbaits even if they're just the basic z-mans that you pick up over at walmart always have a couple chatterbaits they work excellent up along logs they work really well on big flats any sort of grass are awesome i mean these things are so versatile you can fish them absolutely anywhere and because they don't have a bill on it or anything like that you can fish it any sort of water column that you want 
Uh, you can fish as deep as you want, as shallow as you want. You can rip it up top, catch a lot of fish. There's just many, many ways you can fish this. And the reason why it's working so well right now is, like I said, with the uh, buzz bait. All these fish, first thing in the morning, they're chasing all this bait. And so it's just an easy, easy presentation and an easy meal for these bass to come up and just grab it real quick and easy and fun for you to be able to <laughs> just crank it in. So make sure you guys check out the chatter bait. They are awesome and they just hand down catch a lot of fish. Number three. You got the square bill. This is a little Janko square bill. I just got this in my uh, last mystery tackle box, but I've been buying Janko baits and square bills and stuff like that for a little bit now. And it's actually a really, really awesome square bill and it catches a lot of fish. And one thing I do like about it is if you just take a quick listen, it's kind of like a deeper rattle. A lot of these square bills that I noticed, they have a little bit of a louder presentation, a little bit louder uh, rattle. And I just like that one single deep rattle because every time it's running through that water column, it's just like, it's just doing that one solid knock back and forth every time it wobbles in the water column. And this is an excellent color because it's kind of like a sexy shad, but at the same time, it reminds me of a, of a bluegill during the summer because uh, those bluegills, they get very, very light and everything, but it's an excellent color and you can fish it absolutely anywhere. I love fishing them up along points and also big flats and relatively steep drop-offs. Drop-offs that drop off from about three feet to 10 feet. I don't like fishing them off dramatic drop-offs or anything. That's when you want to use a deep dive and uh, crankbait, but these square bills are excellent on those mid drop-off points. All right, I'm gonna pop this light right back on. All right, guys, now we're going to the bottom bait. After about eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, you can still catch a few top water fish and movement fish and everything like that. But what I'm noticing is I'm catching the majority of the fish on the bottom after about eight to 9 a.m. These fish are dropping off anywhere from five to 10 feet and they're hanging out in a bunch of grass, bunch of structure, everything like that. So so like a lake like Bartlett, when I've been catching them, I've been finding trees and stuff like that, areas where crappies would be hanging out. And I'm just flipping a basic shaky head. It's all you need. It's a 3 16th ounce tungsten weight one, this one is. And this is heavy metal tungsten. You can either go on their website or you can also find them on shopcarls.com with my absolute favorite worm. This is my favorite trick worm. I don't know why I catch a ton of fish on it. And I know a trick worm is a trick worm, but everyone has their favorite. And this is mine, the Exxon Lures Deception Worm. This is an excellent color for pretty much everywhere in the Southwest, watermelon, red flake. I mean, it hands down catches fish. Sometimes you can put a little bit to spike it on it and stain that tail just a little bit yellow and it creates just a little bit of scent for those bass and that chartreuse will also draw the bass up to come and hit it uh, with the shaky head like I was saying I like to pair it up with 10 pound braid with 8 pound fluorocarbon flip it up in any sort of trees or anything like that you can even flip them up into like trees that are sticking out of the water about four feet and just slowly drag it and then do a quick pop and then drag it and then a pop pop and I'm not joking when you guys feel a hit I mean it literally just doop, and then it, the fish tries to go right back into the exact area where it came from I mean it is insane the bites I've been getting on the shaky head have been incredible now granted none of the bass have been really big so don't feel bad or anything if you're not catching big fish because literally a fish is a fish they're all fun to catch no matter the size and especially if you're not an avid fisherman and you're just going out there for fun and just to learn the sport a little bit catching those little 12 to 14 inches they're a ball they're a ball all day long so make sure that you have like 10 pound braid to 8 pound fluorocarbon the fluorocarbon has a little bit more abrasion resistance and so when you're pulling those fish out of that cover it can withstand it a little bit better and i'm just using a medium light rod super simple nothing uh super stiff or anything i mean it's stiff enough to where you can pull those fish out. Now granted, if you hook a big fish, you might struggle getting that fish out. But shoot, here in the Southwest, I don't catch a lot of big fish. I catch flare fish. So, uh, and the final bait that has been working for me is obviously works year round. You can use it literally year round in any sort of body of water, canals, rivers, lakes, ponds, whatever, wherever you're fishing. But you just use a basic jig. You can use any jig you want. It doesn't matter if it's a cheap jig or an expensive jig. I mean, a jig is Kind of a jig sometimes the colorations are better on the more expensive jigs but at the end of the day a jig's a jig and they're all going to catch fish especially if you have the right trailer on it in order to be able to catch a fish and the trailer that i have on it is the berkeley chigger craw it's just green pumpkin and typically i go green pumpkin or watermelon red because those are just the primary colors that hands down catch fish and the two colors of jigs that have been working best for me is the green pumpkin with just a little bit of orange strand on the front and also the 
PB and JJ. That has been actually much better than this orange, but the orange is still catching me a lot of fish. So definitely go get some Bass Patrol PB and J jigs. Get some chigger craws. Doesn't matter if they're three or four inch. I prefer the four inch because they're just a little bit girthier and it can draw in those bigger fish because it's a bigger presentation. But I'm telling you guys, if you guys get some Bass Patrol jigs and you get those chigger craws from Berkeley, you can throw them in any sort of body water and catch fish. You gotta fish them slow though. I'm not. I'm not dragging it fast. I'm not dragging it and cranking, dragging and cranking. I'm literally a slow drag up, one pop, and then just letting it sit there and then another drag, and then the same thing. That's all I'm doing. And then you'll feel that thump. And then just give it a split second because especially if you're using the bigger chigger crods, you want that bass to be able to inhale it. So give it like a half a second and then set the hook on the fish. But all these lures are gonna be able to get you guys to catch fish. So remember for top water, you got the buzz bait. And then after that, use a square bow crank and then you can also use a chatter bait. And then around eight to 9 a.m., switch over to the worms and a little more finesse and a little more bottom, bottom baits and try the jig and try the shaky head and you guys will not regret it you guys are going to catch a lot of fish i hope that this helped you guys and i hope you guys are able to go out use these techniques and go catch some fish for yourself if you guys are going to be using this stuff in any sort of a canal or anything like that make the presentation smaller because a lot of the bass are chasing those baby tilapia that are like an inch or two so keep that in mind try to match the hatch the best that you can but all these baits are still going to work in every single body of water that you fish just keep that in mind try to match a hatch try to match the size but overall these are all going to work and i hope that it helped you guys and shoot make sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification the growth on the channel has been absolutely incredible let's get to 3,000 subs within the next couple months check out the patreon check out my instagram and we'll see you guys next time on southwest fishing